tuned into the right place because it's friday and that means it's sketchup live day and we got tyson modeling furniture today gonna be a huge one modeling and sketchup you got some great stuff coming up so get ready for sketchup get ready for tyson and here we go it's mr tyson karchner with sketchup live Oh, they give me the script and I read it out, you know, word for word. I never, never go off script. I'm like uh, Ron Burgundy. I read whatever's on the prompter, you know. <laughs> hey, if you write it, I will speak it. Um, hey, everybody. Thanks for uh, tuning in today. I think your mic is off, actually. Sorry. All right, he's sorting out the mic, folks. Um, as he does that, I will uh, say what he was just saying. But uh, what's going on is that we, I think you might have to add it in OBS. Audio input capture, you might have to switch to, um, to your mic. If you double click it, yeah. Um, so we were going to have Aaron modeling the corner tower from Ecuador, uh, Softy Architects today, but unfortunately the office had some internet connectivity issues. So, uh, is it a bait and switch if it's unintentional? <laughs> I think no. Um, so Tyson, test your mic out here and see if we can. Hey everybody. How's it? Uh, how's your Friday going? I think we got it. Did we get it? Let, Can you hear him now, know. folks? Let us know if it's working and if uh, if it's whisper quiet <laughs> or coming through good. That's right. Um, so, yeah, we will be doing that same model next week when the Internet is alive and well and streaming at full capacity. But um, uh, for today, Tyson is pinch hitting and he's uh, going to do some furniture. So we'll have uh, have you folks. In the chat, you'll be able to decide which one of these furniture pieces um, Tyson will have to take on. So, wow, <laughs> you've got a lot here. Oh, I do. I, I have too many. I, I, grabbed a, <laughs> I grabbed a bunch, and now I'm like, ah, tone it down. Overloading the tabs. No, I like it. Oh, let's let's uh, let's throw a few in here. You go ahead and keep speaking, and I'll just sort of line up a few here. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll have uh, have a couple different options, and we'll have you in the chat. You can um, because this was last minute. We don't really have a poll set up or anything, or a nice way to um, to select them. But just throw in the chat which one you uh, which one you want to see, and we can definitely get you uh, you know just exactly what you want to see out of these beautiful organic furniture pieces that uh, Tyson has selected. Um, photos of here. I have too many windows going on now. I, like I, okay, I'm getting this all thrown out. I'm gonna. <laughs> all kinds of fun. <laughs> all kinds of fun. Um, yeah. So uh, please let us know uh, if if uh, and and I'm I'm throwing up some uh, fun pieces. I wanted to as well give a shout out so first of all if um if you're joining us for the first time or haven't been back in a while uh let us know where you're coming in from we always love to to recognize people and where they're coming in from and if um you know if you have because this one is kind of off the cuff like say we sort of last minute did a did a little bait and switch although you know we'll call it bait and switch if you want that's <laughs> no worries um but we can also use this as a Q&A session. So if you have just any burning SketchUp questions, uh, let us know. But um, 
there's a few examples here. There's examples of some lamps, so sort of this desktop lamp, uh, an industrial lamp, or this articulating one. Um, you've got a, you know, this pretty cool floating desk, as they say, rocking chair. Uh, I grabbed a few pieces from a, a, a furniture maker slash artist named Judson Beaumont. If some of you are familiar with his work, it's very whimsical. Uh, very, very cool artist. Um, I've always, uh, I've enjoyed his work for a long time. So sort of, you know, a dresser that's an accordion or a dresser that's splitting apart. Unfortunately, I was sad as I was grabbing a few of these. I, I hadn't realized that Judson uh, has passed away a few years ago. So that, that's, uh, I just pay my respects because I've always admired his work. Um, but yeah, uh, if there's anything in here, what, what, uh, what's, what's the haps in the chat, Matt, what are we, what are we hearing? Got yeah, we got a couple people, a couple people in here. We got a uh, rocking chair. We got uh, the first chair, which I think is a rocking chair as well. There's only one chair, right? I think so. Okay. <laughs> There's so, so many windows going on over I here. I know. On, I'm uh... sorry. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So we, uh, and actually, while I'm going through this, uh, somebody mentioned that your audio might be a little bit low. I don't know if there's anything you can do in OBS just to mix it up. I think that should be our last audio change of the, Let me... the episode here. Um, okay. I, and let me, I'll just move this in closer and hopefully that helps. Nice. Um, cool. If you right click that and say, sorry, a little tech stuff behind the curtain here. Yeah. Go to <laughs> filters and then, um, Sweet. You can add, uh, change What's this gain output or... gain to be like 2 dB or something like that. You want it higher like this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit higher, but maybe just do it like, yeah, that should be about good. Okay, everybody, uh, let us know how that goes. Okay, cool, okay. thanks. Um, let's see. Yes, we have uh, a couple of votes for the chair, a couple of votes for the lamp. Um, chair, chair, rocking chair. Um, oh. <clears throat> lamp, it's sort of split between the lamp and the rocking chair. So um, I'll let you <laughs> make the final decision, but uh, it's your call there. What do you think? Now, what would make I, for a better stream here? I assume they mean this lamp because it's going to be a bit of a bit of fun. So yeah, we, some people said floor lamp, some people said accordion lamp. So. Oh. Um, this being the floor lamp, I presume. There yeah. was this one too. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, oh, what do, what do we call? Okay, so yeah, this is we'll call this one the leaning tower floor lamp. This is the accordion <laughs> lamp. Maybe we're just going to do the rocking chair anyway. Maybe we'll just tear through all of them, you know? What are we, uh, maybe I'm on a roll today. We're, we're on a roll so <laughs> far. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so your call. Right hand lamp or chair? What do you think? Um, okay. Those both, both look fun. I wonder what can we do? Sven says it's Friday. Let's give Tyson a break. <laughs> Neither of these seem like a, a break, like a, you know, an hour long model, but uh, we've got you for two hours, so should be able to knock one of them out. We, we should, we, we can knock these out. Uh, at least one of them, maybe, I mean, some of the pieces on this will be straightforward, some a little less, so. Okay, any other, I, I don't, I'm happy to do both. Both look really interesting. So is there any consensus or shall I pick? And then we'll Looks go. like the lamp, the lamp's pulling ahead. Oh, uh, let's go right, for the lamp. We'll, we'll get to the rocker. If we uh, if we get to it, and just to okay. give <laughs> just to give credit, I found this on a site uh, that I believe they called. I'm not sure if it was their site or if their brand, uh, the Omnitasker. So, just 
to give some credit. Let's How many see. tasks? Or I'll try to find How the uh, link there. Yeah. Let's, uh, and then I've got another view of this too. A little more detail. That's a beautiful one. I, I mean, it's a good pick. The, the industrial mixed with the wood, very interesting. Uh, let's see what we'll get done here. Okay, if this goes all haywire, it's my own fault. I, I put up the choices. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> no way this could crash and burn. No, this is going to be a great model. There's no way. I'm psyched myself. Okay, Shed let's... a little light. Um, I'll bring this in just so that we have it to sort of as a background reference over here. Um, if we're going to start with this, I'm going to start easy, give us some easy wins, and that's obviously the base, because that's going to be the easiest part, uh, easiest piece of this to model. So let's create, a, let's, let's do uh, 36 sides for our base, make it a little more detailed. Also, I'm not going to worry about scale, of course, and I'm going to make it a lot larger than in reality and scale it down later. So we're just winging it. Yeah, that works. And for people new to SketchUp, if you're uh, not uh, familiar, uh, normally you model things much larger because uh, SketchUp, when it was made, was made primarily as an architectural modeler. So um, things at the scale uh, of a little bit larger um, work better with the geometry. Sometimes you might have issues creating super small faces, so uh, usually scaling stuff up um, and then scaling it down to the proper scale when you're done is uh the way to go to avoid any headaches well said uh that's that looks like the basic shape of the base and then let's add a little bit it's got some curve on the the wood area so Curve here, and then it comes back down. Something like that. Look at my arc. Oops. Oh, gotta watch for that on face inference. Sure do. Learning by mistakes, seeing what Tyson <laughs> does wrong. That's what we're here for—to learn <laughs> any means necessary. Yeah. All right, so shout us out out there. What's everybody got on their weekend plans? Let's hear it. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, what is... What's going on? Uh, it's going to be a great weekend Yeah. for me because see if uh, you in the chat, can you guess what movie I'm going to see tonight? <laughs> Anyone in the chat? I know there's a little bit of a delay, so we will give you some uh, some leeway there. But what do you think? <laughs> <clears throat> I can't guess. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the zoo and a music concert. Ooh, love it. Ooh, and Mar nice. Marsa. Marcin? Marcin? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce your name, but you got it. You nailed it. Danger Zone. Top Gun. Maverick. Tom Cruise is on. Maverick's back. He never left. There you go. But um, excited to see it. I know it came out a little while ago, but got to get to the theater. The theatrical experience is still alive. Um, and Tom Cruise is bringing it to us like he always does, so I'm excited for that. Ooh, the Queen's Jubilee, of course, yes. The, uh, the That's right. The Diamond Jubilee, right? Or the plat Platinum Jubilee? I, I don't know. Somebody, somebody give us a heads up on that. But, wow, longest serving monarch in at least England's history, is that correct? I think that's right. I think Queen Victoria previously held the uh, record there. But 
Kiwi too, passed her. So props to her. You know, we wish her a lot of luck as we do each and every week here on SketchUp Live. Um, God save the queen. God save the queen. <laughs> <laughs> every week. <laughs> That's right. Without fail, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, Ove says, in Norway, it's a long weekend, so walking the dog, making some good food, and watching some good movies, and sleeping in. Ooh, nice. I like that. A little relaxation station. It's a great time. Oh, that does sound nice. Lenny just got back from taking my chainsaws for a hike to reopen a hiking trail. Very cool. I, sometimes I go on hikes and I see those, you know, trees that have fallen over the um, the trail, and I'm like, who comes? Because sometimes there's straight up, yeah, like chainsaw, and, you know, uh, shout out to you for... Making those passable again and accessible for anyone who wants to go for a hike. Um, doing the Lord's work out there, so appreciate that. And platinum. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Andy said plat. I uh, second guessed myself halfway through uh, thinking it was either diamond or platinum, and I said plat. So certainly not plat. <laughs> Unless it's. Uh... Oh, I lost my reference. Um, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, what bail do we, out. We have? We have, bail out. Of course, we have Oliver Platt, the great Oliver Platt. Um, great in Three Musketeers film, uh, of course. Um, the Platt River runs through Denver. Isn't that the Platt River, right? I think. Uh, uh, yeah, there is. I was going to make a reference to... Uh, uh, our, our Pratt, you know, of Parks and Rec and Guardians of the Galaxy fame, and I spaced his first name. Uh, sure, Sir Christopher Pratt. Yeah. That's what you're thinking of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the Chris Prattnum Jubilee over there, so, uh, mm-hmm. you know, we uh, enjoy all those of you who celebrate the Jubilee there. Bank holiday in the UK. So is it a bank holiday for the Jubilee, or is it just, was it normally going to be a bank holiday regardless? That's good to hear. Some well-deserved time away. Love the uh, national holidays there. Yes, okay, crisp rat. Crisp uh, rat. Just... Uh, Taking those rodents and crisping them up. Maybe using some what? Uh, what's that genetic uh, modification thing? CRISPR. Oh yeah. Like so you can make some DNA. superhuman rats or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Na 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 na. Rat man. <laughs> Michael says, first time uh, joining live for the live modeling. You only live once. And Michael, thank you for joining in today. Uh, We appreciate your candor and also your audience participation. So thanks for joining in. And just for you, um... Goes out to you, Michael. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, welcome. Oh, so great to to have somebody coming in. Yeah, uh, tell us what you think and what you want to see, because that's yeah, what we're absolutely. here to do. Matthew says, "Talk SketchUp." Okay, enough of this uh, off-topic stuff. What are you What are you doing here with these? Shapes. You're sort of roughing them in with uh, just straight geometry and then throwing in some arcs. I am. And, you know, we're just sort of winging it. It looks kind of like that shape. That's the basis that's going to be. We're going to get rid of that, get rid of that. And this should be our little piece of uh, aluminum or something like that. That helps create one side here. 
Very nice, very nice. So we should have that and um, you know, some mechanical. We've got uh, a threaded rod in here that's moving this back and forth, which will move all these other pieces. This won't be uh, <laughs> rigged articulating. We'll have to just do something that looks close to, but something like that. Once you get in the right position, you don't need to move it anyways. It's more for show, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> so let's get these spaced apart. I don't know. Let's uh, lock this one in and move it out here or something. And again, we made this much larger, so I'm looking at this, and that's going to go, let's say, 11 inches. And then in this one will do the same. So when you first looked at this thing, it looks like you're building it from the bottom up. Is there a particular reason for that, or...? Do you normally, I know like the difference between you and Aaron's modeling can be different sometimes. Maybe you um, think of it as like a way of actually creating out of physical material um, because of your woodworking background. But um, yeah, why did you choose to kind of start building up from the bottom? Well, you know what? It, uh, that's a nice observation. The, the honest truth is that piece right there that base i knew was going to mm -hmm. be the easiest one to make and, and <laughs> this lamp will be similarly and i am you know maybe my ego is fragile but i like to start with a nice easy win that gives me a little bit mm -hmm. of confidence that's like this is gonna work because <laughs> if i if i start trying to model one of these arms right from the start and it and it, and it starts looking bad i'll be like oh this model is terrible. I'm awful at SketchUp. I have no purpose in life. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Something like no, that. I, I think so far. It's beautiful. Oh. I think, um, yeah, well, you got you to kind of warm up. You don't want to dive right into the, uh, you got to get the modeling fingers, you know, sorted out. The scroll Ooh. wheel muscles right? loosened up. <laughs> Yeah, so you can't just jump into the hardest part. Right, you gotta warm up your vocal cords, gotta warm up the, the SketchUp cords. Something like that, yeah, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that that's what we're going with. Uh, it happens to be the base, but it actually was because I'm lazy and wanted the easiest thing. <laughs> that works too. That works too. Um, Somebody, uh, Marcel, asked, why uh, why don't you put the image in the upright position? You just have it on the ground plane right now. That is an excellent question. I, um, I think because, because for me, in this case, I'm using it purely as a reference because it's not, you know, I'm not setting it up and modeling directly against it. Mm -hmm. If it was up here, um, it might be a little bit, it, it it's actually a, a solid suggestion. It might work better. Uh, that just happened to be, I dragged it in and I left it there. So not strategic, more laziness. <laughs> yeah. Cause I know sometimes people use like the, you know, the watermark in the top corner. So it's always there mm -hmm. no matter what angle you go to. And sometimes people just have references on a, you know, second monitor or just off to the side. Um, so just curious, good to, no, that, good to hear your way of using it. Yeah. You, you, sometimes it really is. You, you're like, I don't have a strategic answer for that. Here, <laughs> here's one though. If you, it depends on, and again, this is not actually that strategic. I'm not thinking ahead. Sometimes I do like to model things on the ground because then when you make them a component, um, the X, Y, I, not the X, Y, Z, the red, green, blue axis is just set in a way that I, I, I understand. And then when I move it up here, to me, it makes sense that this is on the side. I don't know. That, again, that's not a good strategic reasoning. It just sort of... I. I understand it better, whereas if I make the component up here and then 
the components based on the blue green instead of the green red and I don't know I just kind of get used to the flat yeah. of a component being on the ground plane even if it's turned sideways so again that's just me I don't know that that's it's, I do obviously turn it up on the side a lot of times I'll just be lazy and leave it here since we started here and now I feel like, no, I have to have a reason, even though I just said I don't. <laughs> yeah. Why? No, well, hey, that you, works. Why are you leaving it there? Uh, change the topic. What else? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> well, Transom said they moved across town, and they're going to go get a coffee or maybe something a little stronger. Ooh, I like that for a Friday. Um, yeah, but what time? Tune in with your beverage coming. of choice. What, what, it's, it's Transom's in the UK, ain't he? Yeah, I think so. So, what, uh, how late do you drink your coffee? <laughs> yeah, gonna be up all <clears throat> night. Definitely need to have a uh, cocktail instead. <laughs> there's a, there's a movie reference that I think of. I, I never saw the movie. Maybe it was Crank or something. It had Jason Statham in it. And okay. I think in the movie, he plays, you know, some sort of hitman or something like that. You know, it's an action movie. And mm -hmm. another character is asking him, I think she's appalled at like that he kills people. And she's like, how do you sleep at night? And he's like, well, I, I don't drink any coffee past 2 p.m. Like, <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Christopher uh, rightly points out, who uses strategy when they're modeling in SketchUp? <laughs> um, it's a good idea, but yeah, we don't always do it. Yeah, it can be helpful to think ahead, but uh, sometimes you just gotta you just gotta go for it. Caution to the wind, and um, just move, move in and just just go. Here's a little there. strategy, or at least I hope it will be. We'll see. I want to try and get in. Again, we, we, we've got to make sure all of these fit together. So I, I, before drawing any detail in these, I'm going to draw just these rough um, representations because I'm assuming these are all, you know, we get to make components. That's the nice part about this. But I'm going to try to get these all placed before I add the detail in here. So that's a little bit of strategy. Nice, I like it. Um, you had some people pointing out, it looks like there's a sort of a artifact on your green screen at the very edge of your overhead camera. There's like, I don't know if it's your mug, but it's like right this on one? the edge. Um, I'm delayed on the stream, so I have to see. <laughs> But it looks like red and white, so I'm assuming it's the Santa mug, but I don't know for sure. Santa mug. That's, uh... <laughs> Merry Christmas in June, everybody. <laughs> yep, that was it. That's the one. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> nice. Oh, gosh, I did not prepare any Christmas sound drops. Um... <laughs> Is that Christmassy? <laughs> no, that, that's got. that's back to the Queen, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now presenting the Queen. The Queen. Um, here's something that probably some people would think is kind of bad habit or less than great habit, but for me. Um, I just, I'm going to take this component, drop it into here, into this component. Uh, I'll make this a group first, but essentially paste in place. And that way I can just start building off of the one side. So we've got that one. And then we'll make this a unique version. And move this over here. I 
Thank you, chat, for the validation. It was the mug. <laughs> for noticing that uh, little floaty. It's like you have those little floaties in your eyes, you know? But uh, oh, sometimes yeah. when you get the green screen, you get the little little floaties on the corner, so. Can't be Nothing to worry about that. now. I'm going to focus just on the geometry. <clears throat> Looks like this is something like that. And this one, something like that. Make sure that those will line up. Oh, I guess I should. Because of this, uh, because rotating this moves this piece back and forth, I should be careful that I'm not anchoring this one over here because that's actually not how it works. Let's see. So I'm going to move this forward. Nice, good call. Something more like that. And then this guy. Here's oh, I forgot to do uh, greetings today. Um, so let's see, uh, we got, uh, Ove. Hello. Uh, Josu. Nice to see you again. How you doing? Bevar. Howdy, partner. Uh, Marsa. Welcome to the bayou. A Brad here. Greetings. Lenny. Hi. Christopher. Hi. Keggy. Hey, hello. Matthew. Hello. Transom. Hey. Sven. Hello. Sandy. Do I have another one? Uh, hoi, hoi. <laughs> hey, everybody. And everybody that I didn't say your name. This is just the previous people in the chat. Hello. And thanks for tuning in on Friday. SketchUp. If you were just tuning in, as Dave is, uh, Tyson's modeling a desk lamp today for your organic shapes. Um, sort of like a articulating arms. I don't know. It's some kind of weird futuristic looking thing to me, but um, yeah, this thing. he's getting it going. <clears throat> which, which we found, or I found on uh, some site that was referring to it as the Omnitasker or something. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. Omnitasker. So... I think with that adjustment, I realize these are a little bit longer than than anticipated. So let's bring these back down a bit. Didn't need to be as long as all that. Um, and I'll give a shout. I don't know. Um, doesn't sound like I don't know if he's out there. But I need to shout out to uh, my friend Sai, who sometimes joins us in here, although usually doesn't say so. But uh, a little while ago, um, I had the chance to go up and help participate with our EDU team. Um, and uh, Sai is a engineer working on water treatment and reclamation plants in Alaska and he gave us some just uh, fantastic tour up in Anchorage and all around gentlemen so shout out if uh, you happen to be joining us nice yes hi we're there I'll air it up um, Dave says the lamp looks interesting and asks you, Tyson, have you ever used the Pi tool uh, for this kind of stuff that you're setting up? I have not. Um, I'm not sure. The Pi tool being this one, uh, I assume, right here. Yeah, I think it's like the regular arc tool, but it makes like a face when you finish it. Like this? 
And and I assume part of partially what you're suggesting, which is a, a fantastic, because um, is if we take this and you know say okay, now we move it to here. Now we know you know where the next one is. So hey, great suggestion. I don't know if that's what you meant, but uh, let's see if we can use that. Um, I once we get the first. Uh, it, it gives us the radius of, of both of these. Actually, I wonder. Because I'm not good at geometry, I'm just sort of winging it. And now there's the part of me that's like, well, is there something around geometry that says these should be the same length because that works better or not? I don't know, but. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, oh, we had a couple other people, not the recycle greetings here, folks, but uh, we had Kessia. Hello. Uh, we got Don. Howdy, partner. Uh, SK. Greetings. Nick. To uh, holy, holy. Hussein. Hello, sailor. Pablo, tuning in from <laughs> Brazil. Hey. Uh, and Ralph. Nice to see you again. How you doing? And Dave says yes. That is the the idea there. That's a good idea. I I realize I'm. I had to. <laughs> Who did you say? Hello, sailor. That sounds. <laughs> that sounds like something else. Hello, sailor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, I'm running out of like sound clips online where people say hello and then weird stuff, but uh, they're out there. You just gotta. <laughs> it's probably even harder than like Bitcoin mining. You know, I really have to do a lot of computer uh, yeah. computer analysis to try to get all those. Um, Andy also mentioned. Uh, I'll just read this out. Shouldn't these two tabs slash cross members be meeting around the center? Like this? Uh, um, yes. <laughs> yes. I, I realized <laughs> that a, a little late, too. So you're absolutely right. And um, which means that it, it is longer than I. So, OK, yeah, I'm, I'm going to. That works. You're good. Well, with uh, the 3D modeling program SketchUp, it's easy to edit geometry uh, at any point in the uh, project, of course. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, and, and this is—I yeah. I apologize a little bit because it, it sort of—it feels to me like this is a bit of a okay, we're dragging through this. But uh, to me, this is where like if you get this right, then it's a, then you're good to go, right? Like th there's a lot in the, like if you're drawing, I don't know, we'll, we'll make an analogy. If you're drawing human anatomy and you get the proportions right, then, then you can get a lot of other stuff only so, so right. But if you get the proportions wrong, you doesn't matter how good your shading is, your, your drawing's gonna look whack. Yeah. So, so, I'm so for all, the, yeah. all those in the, uh, in the chat who are Get a little antsy. You want to see uh, see this model move on? I just all I can tell you is, brother, you have to wait. Nice. Just uh, just wait, wait a little well, bit, and we'll get there. Uh, I I don't think you planned it, but I just love that you keep coming back. I mean, that's a Beatles reference, right? We're, we're coming yeah. back to the Queen. <laughs> Not, uh, sort that's of, right. Sort of. <laughs> Always bringing it back to. Uh, Great Britain and the United Kingdom. Uh, big f Anglophiles over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, love the Queen. We love uh, Kate Middleton, of course. And very large fans, Prince Philip. <laughs> um, oh, goodness. Awesome. Okay, let's see if that works. Ooh, yeah, that's looking good. Looks like a crossing. 
Jono says, we went to the Jubilee, went on a Jubilee holiday bike ride and stopped for pizza and beer on the way back. No better way to uh, cap off a nice bike ride than with pizza and beer, so sounds like a nice day there. Yeah. He also says, I don't know if I missed something, but wouldn't it be easier to rough out the lengths of the arms on the top image? I realize it's not a perfect view, but that will get things rolling. And yeah, I don't know if the perspective would kind of throw stuff off there or. It, and these feel like they're longer than these. Um, I don't know the perspective of it. I, I'm not, I'm not confident. I could maybe this one essentially. Yes. Ideally. Yes. Because especially I, again, apologies. We're dragging everybody to sort of like, uh, okay. <clears throat> um, Let's see, let's see if we got close enough with where we're at, but ideally that would be that definitely be better. Well, this is just your interpretation. Uh, like you said, the uh, you know uh, making like a hand sketch. This is your it's being filtered through your artistic eye, so um so your own personal um, omnitasker desk lamp. Mm -hmm. State had a question. Do I need any plugins or extensions to save a file? Uh, no. no. You do not need any extensions to save a file. Um, depending on what version of SketchUp you have, you might uh, not be able to export in the full like the full file type list if you're not on SketchUp Pro, for instance, um, versus like the web version. But um, but yeah, just to save a file, like a, as a SketchUp file, no, you don't need any extra extensions. <clears throat> this is looking complicated. I know. The farther I get into this, the more I'm like, what? Oh, oh, Tyson, you idiot. I'm sure that a few of our, our friends out there could look at this and, and, and have a strategy for making it work the first time. I'm sorry I'm dragging you all through my discovery process of being like, wait a second. How do I? How do I make this? Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. That's what SketchUp Live is all about, is finding your way, modeling through it. But let's see if uh, this is kind of based on the other notion of the arcs. Can we use some circles to help us know if these are all the same length, then... Um, And we say we want this one. I'm even confusing myself as to like, wait, I'm going to say, as long as you know what's going on, <laughs> then uh, <laughs> I trust you. But... Oh, I, I put these things, they're, they're too far out here. That's why. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hasib says, why not model the metal and wood as separate pieces? And I think you have them in separate containers, right? I do, and um, <clears throat> and I got a little, you know what? I might have reversed one of these. Okay. Let me just, just let, let me see something here for a second. No problem. <laughs> see, here's what happened is I, I've got these and they're in the wrong place. Let's just line these back up over here. That's part of what's confusing. The other thing, actually while we're here, is we don't need to work on that one. We just need to work on, let's just work on half of it, which will simplify things. But yeah, so we've got these wooden ones and we've got the metal one so if this one 
this here, then, and this, ah, uh, this is where, I'm like, okay. If I don't have the length of these, like, is, will this even work? Because once, uh, like, I can't even get that to cross. Except at the same angle. So, <clears throat> all right. Well, do the, Reset. Uh, do the, what are the arms? Oh, because they're all tethered in the center. I, yeah, I don't <laughs> like. I don't understand how it works mechanically, so I don't know how to um, be modeling it. But uh... I know they're they're fixed, so um, maybe. Oh, and you know what? Partly, partially, what's happening is these are not centered. When I when I look at this again, so the wooden members here. The, the second piece is shorter, it looks like, than the first one. And same with these ones. The metal ones, there's shorter than uh, on one side. So I was trying to make them centered. Right. That's not correct. The other thing that I just don't know is if they've figured out, well, these are not actually all the same length to make this work. Maybe they're not. I don't know, but let's make that little adjustment first. That these. Yeah, I should have caught up on the chat. That's what a couple people pointed out. So. Uh, Thank you. I, uh, perhaps you, Andy, and yourself, for noticing that uh, design aspect of this wonderful lamp. <laughs> <laughs> We all love I, lamp here at uh, SketchUp Live, of course. <laughs> all right, so if this is the center, and again, this is probably important to know where it is, and we're just guessing, so who knows? But that's one <laughs> aspect. Uh, let's, let's go back here. Let's go over here to our simpler version. And this one. Also, I had some people in the chat reminding you to. Shame. Oh. <laughs> so got that untitled up there. It's making people a little bit, uh, a little bit crazy. You know what's funny about that? Um, <clears throat> this goes back to you know how I, you know how I made that big spiel at the beginning, like, oh, I like to get an early win. It just gives me confidence. And at this point, I'm floundering and and. Uh, my confidence is shattered and I'm like, I don't want to save. I want to crash and start on something <laughs> else. <laughs> I, I want to. F <laughs> well, I think the reason it didn't come together was because of the pivot point wasn't in the right place. Yeah. Well, we'll see. they all looks, they all look the same length after that. It's just that the way that it tips over is because the, it doesn't pivot in the center. It pivots towards the side. Yeah. And it, I don't know about about y'all. I, I was working on something else earlier this week where I was I saw an image and it, it had to do with some geometry and some triangles. It like I like figuring it out because I, I can't you know I can't do maths. I'm horrible <laughs> at that. So I enjoy figuring this out. I just don't enjoy dragging everybody along with that process. You know what else? This whole thing may be too long. Let's uh, let's just bring this down a little bit. Let's see. Come on, we, we can get there. Yeah, we got people in the chat helping us out. Um, let's see. Ah, here we go. Christopher says the reason that uh, you didn't notice that is because your reference drawing wasn't vertical. <laughs> that's got to be it that's your fatal flaw zinger so next time hold it never hold leave it on the ground plane ne wow like really sticking it to me on that one <laughs> yeah <laughs> um and jason actually points out that uh looks like they're not the same length they are um, not the same and, and I didn't make them the same length, but I don't know how different they are. Okay, let's yeah. see what we got. We've got 
this. Let's, uh, let's try and make our next version. This, uh, this is a little bit what was tripping me up um, previously. Let's see. I am. I put the that. Um, okay. We better make these all in the same plane. They're not in the long run, but for now, that's gonna make make things simpler. Okay, so we've got that one. Nice. I got a good feeling about this. Okay. Okay. We're, we we can make this work. Oh, Bingo. it's already is, tilting uh, over. Look it's already tilting, and this is interesting. Um, it's interesting, again, for me, some of you may have just realized this from the start, but to be like, the length of these, like, super is going to determine how it seems like how uh, whew, far how bendy. forward. How bendy. How bendy. Is. Thank you. Bendy. <laughs> I can't think of those two syllable words. That's 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 a zinger, bendy. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollar word, bendy. Bendy. That's a that's a wordle word, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be. I don't know if it was. I, since it's yesterday's word, so I'm not giving away any spoilers. I did not get yesterday's because it was showy, and I was like, "There won't. That's not a word they would use." I had it. I was like, "Showy." I was like, "That's not a, no, no, no. <laughs> they wouldn't do that. That's not a word." Yeah. And I refused <laughs> to guess it, and it was showy. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. Yep. Okay, so this is working. The only problem is it's really bendy. So, yeah. So we have a couple notes from the chat. Thank you, chat, for uh, helping us out here. Um, so uh, Andy says it looks like the wooden ones get smaller and the metal ones pretty much stay the same. That's how it gets the curve. Matthew <clears> says <throat> looks like only the top rib is shorter. And then the pivot point changes because of the slot in the metal opening. So. So. <laughs> okay. Run that second one. Okay. So thank you, Andy. I, Andy's suggesting that the wooden members actually get shorter as we go along. Um, all of these look like they're too long to start with. But what was the second suggestion? He said. <clears throat> only the top rib is shorter the pivot point changes because of the slot in the metal spring so maybe like the location of the middle of the silver of the metal ones is different for different levels mm. well so they stay the same size but the pivot changes perhaps yeah i can't tell from the image but I think what kind of evil mastermind designed this omni tasker I know like, what I... are you doing you're just showing off over here <laughs> I... keep it simple man <laughs> <laughs> okay well we're making our own version and we're an hour in so really should just keep going uh Thank you. If we if we wanted to get this um, dialed in, we would. This is this is why we do this first before trying to mess with the geometry. In the in our case, I think what we'll do is use our pivoting lamp head to be able to look up, even though we are going to be bending way forward. Yeah, um, like the Pixar lamp. Isn't the Pixar lamp like bent over but then looking up? Yeah. And by the end, yeah. we'll have this animated and jumping, and it'll be just amazing. <laughs> yeah. Don't count on it. <laughs> that, that's when I hand it over to Aaron. This, we, we mentioned this is a dual one, right? This, I'm handing the animation part over to Aaron. 
Oh, Just... I can sit here all day. <laughs> I could watch the stream for the rest of the evening. Oh my goodness. Max it out. Does YouTube have a maximum time length on the uh, live streams? Let's just <clears throat> push it to the limit. Yeah. Well, the um, I, I see all of the like the song. There's songs and stuff repeated for ten hours, right? So that 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 gives us at least that long. All right. Yeah, it's a good place to start. <laughs> Um, Nick says, if you shorten the wood ones at the top, then that would help uh, make it not so bendy. Um, like make I, like the third one up like a little bit shorter and then the fourth one a little bit shorter. <clears throat> do you all want me to do that? We can do that. I, I mean, I don't... <laughs> I don't think you need to. I, at this point, I think the other we, the other details will be uh, will be interesting to get to too. We've... We we yes. So let's let's give a, a huge shout out to everybody picking out details that could definitely improve the design. Um, uh, we can we can sit our lamp head right here and it will still work. So we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Yeah, that but sounds good. We've got a pulse. Thanks, everybody. Uh, That's uh, why. And also, uh, Christopher says, be proud of your popsicle stick lamp. So um, just remember at the end of the stream, this is where the popsicle stick lamp stage, but uh, <clears throat> not going to be here forever. I'll tell you what, my mom is proud of my popsicle stick lamp. My mom's <laughs> proud of me. Wow! <laughs> That's nice to hear. <laughs> right? Okay, so let's add some detail. <laughs> they know I'm just being silly. Who's being silly? <laughs> oh, good. Good times. Good times with this crew. Okay, let's go back to 36 sides. Let's make this circle this big-ish. Maybe not that big. Um... Maybe like that. And you know what's going to get me in trouble right now? Is this is not on the axis, so I'm gonna have to. I want to mirror this, but I need uh, I need my axis, so I am going to create a temporary axis for now, or maybe I'll leave it. Who knows? But that way, I can grab this. And mirror it. Oh, still didn't work, but anyway, uh, it's going to work because I'll just put it in place. It's we'll got make a nice it flat edge. And with that we can make it work. Nice. Maricone Greetings. Says nostalgic t shirt. Got the throwback logo on there. Right? <laughs> throwback jersey. The um The, uh, why the heck? Yeah, that's getting a little weird. Don't do that to me. That, that, that. It's curious. I'm curious why it does that. I don't know. Report. We will uh, keep going. I don't know what's <laughs> going on there. Yeah, that's pretty goofy. Weird. Do you have one that's not saved, but that's just weird? It's weird. I have... Whoa! It's not weird. Um, we can make our own. 
<laughs> I'll just get yours clean and then I'll uh, cut it out from the from the stream for the next time. <laughs> All right, just it's this is uh, so such a small detail, but just I'm gonna put a tiny arcs on these. But I'm gonna turn the arc sides down to like three or four. Uh, Dave says he wore his uh, SketchUp Six shirt the other day. Oh yeah. It's really harkening back. Well, good on you for still having a shirt like that. Um, a lot of mine are just had to get tossed out eventually. Just tattered and torn. Yeah, huh? Going through the work, you're modeling so hard every day. It's like uh, you yeah. know. Let's go through, through some wear and tear. It's hard work. Hey, what happened to my my axis that I reset? That's why I never saved it. Ew. Uh, I will take this uh, moment of silence to plug some things coming up. You guys are in the live stream. You love the live stuff, and I know I do. Um, we have a live podcast, our design podcast called Donuts Design and Debate. Uh, we'll be um, on Crowdcast next Wednesday. I'm going to drop the link in the chat here. Um, Aaron and I will be debating the architectural style of brutalism brutalism you love it you hate it it sounds brutal right yeah um Ooh, yeah. but uh we'll be putting it through the design ringer and if you're in the live audience you get to vote on whether you think it's good design or not good design so um definitely sign up at that link and then you can uh vote and let your voice be heard so i uh, love to see you there and then uh of course, the other thing we have coming up is in September in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is the number one SketchUp event in all the world, SketchUp 3D Base Camp. Um, all these best SketchUpers are going to be there. Um, industry pros, we have all kinds of crazy trainings and presentations of cool workflows, uh, not to mention all the great community members that you uh, get to meet and hang out with up in vancouver um it's a beautiful city and it's gonna be a great time uh it'll be a lot of learning a lot of fun we have a big party um hot dog can't miss it uh so it's september 26th to the 30th in um like i said vancouver so uh the link to the website to get more information of course is just dropped in the chat so check it out it's the place to be at the end of September this year, um, if you want to learn SketchUp and meet and greet with all the SketchUp greats. B -b 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 Base Camp. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> That's right. Um, good call, Matt. I am seeing on a show why we're getting this segmentation and, and we can soften this up, no problem. But sometimes after messing around with this stuff, these edges are all broken up. So uh, this is a reminder that in a version or two ago, we implemented a weld tool. So I can select, double click, double click to select say these and then right click on an edge and I should be able to say weld edges. I've got that mapped to a keyboard shortcut, but um, it should weld edges like that. Now, when I pull this up, it's already smooth. So I will do a quick double click, Shift W for me to weld, weld, weld. You can try and do the whole thing here. Um, sometimes it catches, it, it doesn't always catch everything, but if we 
do this now, you can see we've got all those nice, smooth, it's already smooth. Wow! Okay, so that's a nice smooth look we like. Uh-oh. We could fix this, but I would rather just undo, and this time, when I push pull these up, I'm going to hit option, or it'll be control on PC, to pull up a copy that will make sure to leave the surface below, because it's going to pull a copy. So when I hit push pull, you see that little plus arrow, and now underneath here, we should have preserved. Now I don't want to make a copy, so now set that in a little bit. Okay. Nice. Cool. Yeah, there that'll work a lot better than a hollow one for sure. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's looking a lot better. Love that. Christopher avoid... says SketchUp. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I said I'm, I'm avoiding the wood pieces because I know we can make them detailed and that, that might be tricky if we try to make them look like they actually do in the example photo. We can we can do a, a different version, of course, but... I, Somebody suggested TrueBend. I don't know if you want to get involved in anything like that, but um, I don't know <laughs> if that would help <laughs> or uh, hinder. Um, I haven't used TrueBend in a while, so I, it would be dragging everybody through my painful learning process. <laughs> Um, you're absolutely like, yeah. All right, we, we, it's okay though. It's actually, maybe there's. You know what I see in here? You know what I see? Uh, Matt? Matt. What's up? You know what? You know what? You know what the people want to see that what that, that we want? could do? <laughs> Stitching. Ooh. <laughs> you can hear it. You can oh. hear the Raptors. Stay tuned, stay tuned. <laughs> like I, I think that's Aaron's spidey sense. If somebody says stitching, his spidey sense probably goes, huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. He's always on the lookout. Always yeah, so on the. We we just we just triggered Aaron's spidey sense. Something's happening. <laughs> the world's something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's Love it. To... Um, I'm just catch up on the chat here. Christopher says SketchUp was made for the brutalists. So mm -hmm. there you go. I guess concrete and um, sticky geometry and uh, you know surface modeling go hand in hand. Um, Dave, uh, referencing back to the weld portion that you did with. Uh, the metal piece says that Interot uh, auto weld would do the entire thing in one go as well. Good call. Um, Studio RT Cool said that uh, when you did the copying the face thing for the push pull, the face orientation might need cleanup. I don't know if that's not like your reversed face color. That's just like you painted it that color, right? I, it, it might. Let's just switch uh, over here to uh, monochrome mode, and we can see that there are a few. Yep. Hit. RT Cools. Good call. Uh, Spidey Sense was tingling, so I can <laughs> come in here, select these two. Uh, I can right click, but again, I've got the, a keyboard shortcut set to reverse faces. So select this and this, reverse those. Um, we could smooth these if we wanted to. But yep, you are correct. Who's that? Andy says if we're moving on to sewing, that he's out of here. Um, oh, I'd like to say this is where we transition to the uh, sewing machine portion of the live stream. Yeah, that your loss. Sewing's awesome. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I wish I knew how to sew better. I feel like when I sew, it, like, I don't have a sewing machine, so I do it by hand, and then it ends up looking like, you know, those knots when you don't know how to tie a knot, so you just tie, tie like, 30 half hitches in a row, and it's like, 
it's pretty much what my <laughs> the level of my uh, sewing abilities are. <laughs> uh, somewhere here's that middle. There it is. <clears throat> Don't sell yourself short, Matt. What about what about your crocheting chops? I hear you're a mad wizard with the uh, crochet hook. <laughs> yeah, I've done that, of course, before, and uh, know so much about it. Um, no, although I'm always looking for new hobbies, so maybe crochet is uh, one of the ones to get in. Andy was pointing out, or asking, I guess, if you could use Solid Inspector in order to find those reversed faces um, and perhaps fix them uh, instead of doing it uh, automatically, or um, like manually. Uh, I think you can, or at least, you know, it'll try as a quick reference to show what Andy's talking about. If we reverse a few faces, okay, so we've got a few in here. If we use Solid Inspector, which is uh, very helpful, in, um, it's used for 3D printing, but it's uh, so helpful for things like this. So if we say um, fix all, it may or may not catch them. There's a there's, you know, I've got this piece here. I've got some other things going on too. Sometimes it it catches them. Sometimes it doesn't, but. Um, another tool that does similar things is called cleanup. Look at all these reversed faces. Fix. There. Got them. Got them. So it's got a, him. It's a good, good suggestion for keeping your model clean. Look, this is so clean now. It went, man. I, oh. My bad habits. <laughs> that was unique, right? Then <laughs> lose all your flags and your other components um i think i did but that's okay that's that's at this point um we don't need them so much mm -hmm. that's good christopher said this uh, model would drive him nuts if he was trying to model it because he would try to make the screws actual screws <sighs> yeah yeah some people so, like to model down to the screws literally hey you know what everybody if you do that and and shout out christopher shout out dave shout out some of our good friends who do like hyper very accurate like i some of you probably model it to be like is that a quarter 20 thread then that's what it's going to be um, I don't think we're going to take it there today, but I'm, More power always to you. I'm always impressed by those of you that do. <laughs> uh, I think I... Not today. All right. So let's, let's, uh, we got to get this wooden piece and let's see let's see so there's a couple things about it that some of you will have noticed um, it kind of has this cool we need to keep the the pivot points the same but it, it's got a bit of a I, you know which I think adds to the look of it a curving in opposite directions from that center point so let's try and capture a bit of that, and then what else do we have here? Um, partially this is similar, and then it just has these indentations. So let's see. Let's see what we get. Let's 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 start, and then we'll adjust. That sounds good. So we got. I'm gonna go back to 36 sides to make this detailed because 
after the fact, I'll hand this off. I'll be like, Eric, my rendering buddy, can you make this look really pretty, better than I can? And he will be like, yes. And in three minutes later, it will be photorealistic because that's what he does. It's good to have a buddy like that. I know. I got a guy. Everybody needs, you know, that person. <laughs> Do I Not learn how to render? No. Do I just hand them all off because I'm lazy? Yes. <laughs> hey, well, let the pros do their job, you know? Right? <laughs> I don't want to insult them by just saying, oh, I could just do this myself, you know? It's, yeah, it's their expertise that exactly. uh, gives them extra stuff to do. <laughs> all right, so something... Oh, you know what? My arc is still set. Better set that back to 12 or something like that. Okay, coming from here. It, that kind of looks like the Tron cycle. Okay, switch up halfway through. <laughs> We're going to model the Tron cycle right now. Tron bike lamp. Oh my gosh, this is my dream. I've been asking for this stream for years. The Tron bike lamp. Right? Finally. Ever since you got here? Man, it took forever. <laughs> Bonus stream. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay, it is not. Let's do something a little less dramatic. More like that. Oh, I said Christopher when he's talking about the screws was talking about the uh, mechanism for the, the crank on the bottom. Oh uh, yeah, totally. It's um, like an interesting it, it does. challenge. It's, that looks fun. I think if we bring these in a little more, they'll be a little more interesting. I heard that, Matt. I'm putting you <laughs> to sleep. I'm putting you to sleep, buddy. Oh, no. I thought enough noise reduction was on that you wouldn't hear. Uh... Oh, boy. You can't get it past us. <clears throat> <Or at least. laughs> That's all right. Okay, that wasn't me. That was in, a... in Matt's yeah. fair, fairness, he's always staying up late. I mean, this I, I can't say this because people are coming in from the UK and being like, what are you talking about late? It's only 5 o'clock. <laughs> I know. I know. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, very late in the evening, 3.20 p.m. for me. Yeah. So, uh, oh, boy. Well, you know what? 3.20 in the afternoon is the seventh inning stretch. Like, you, you're feeling it, right? Like, you, mm -hmm. you, you haven't hit your second or third wind. You're like, oh, I've been listening to Tyson drone on for an hour and a half now. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, not at all. I probably do need some extra, need some coffee or something. Actually, well, because I got Top Gun this afternoon, so I'm like, I don't mm -hmm. know, is Top Gun energy packed enough for me to not have to uh, have a late afternoon cup of coffee? I don't know. Uh, that is a solid question. Um, maybe, you know, Top Gun, maybe it's like a really, they, they changed it up and it's this really slow drama piece <laughs> there are parts of the original i was watching the original on tv the other day and it's like very there's the parts you remember and then there's like just a lot of kind of muddy looking like one person in a room at like dusk not very interesting looking i don't know yeah brooding like yeah dramatic <laughs> boring stuff mm -hmm. and it's like just give me more jet fuel, baby. Yeah. I mean, throwing the brakes, I'll fly right by. Give me something give me something to work with here. <laughs> okay. Actually. And one thing, actually, um, I assume most of the people in the chat have seen the first Top Gun. 
my wife has not seen the first Top Gun, but we're going to see it today. And I was thinking, what? How can I like distill Top Gun down into like one sentence? Once that um... will like give her a good background of. I was thinking like, okay, Tom Cruise is Maverick, and he like you know wears the wears a leather jacket and rides around on a motorcycle like he's a, but he's an Air Force pilot and he's a loose cannon. And then there's all these other really good pilots. And then, you know, his co-pilot dies. And then, I don't know, that's pretty much it. <laughs> there's a volleyball scene. There's a <laughs> you volleyball know, like, what scene. Else? What am I leaving out that needs to be in there? Like, Iceman? Does he, you know? Oh, well, he's a nemesis. Okay. He's just like a hot shot. You actually do. are doing a good job of describing it. I, I was just going to say Air Force propaganda, but <laughs> if you... <laughs> Although they're not in the Air Force. They're in the Navy. Oh, so oh okay. See? I couldn't see. have been that uh, that effective propaganda. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it uh, certainly is. Yeah. See? Totally worked out. <laughs> Ah, there you go, Keggy. Just tell her I feel the need, the need for speed. For speed. And um, <laughs> that's all you need to know, probably. Probably so. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, they said I didn't uh, didn't say spoiler alert for when Goose dies. <gasps> no. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Goose dies and goose dies. He died a long time ago, folks. It's time to get over it. Um, who cares? Yeah. No, I care about goose. I care about a negative 4G dive with a MiG-28. Um, well, Meg Ryan cared. Yeah, true. And if the trailers be correct... The son that Maverick didn't know Goose had cares, cares a lot, holds Maverick responsible, drama, guilt. Again, that's oh, just man. the trailer, so I don't know, but, you know. Nice, we're really psyched. I definitely don't need that cup of coffee now. Man. What's his, is his call sign, like, Mongoose? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, what's his duckling? Concept? Duckling. What's a gosling? Is that what a goose duckling is called? Yeah, sure, gosling. But not not Ryan Gosling. No, you're thinking of the wrong gosling. Yes. Um. All right, we are at the point where I should at least get a few pieces in here, so that if. Uh, if I run out of time, it still looks like the lamp. So I do want to come back. Obviously, there's some detail in these uh, wooden arms that we that would be fun to get in. But let's at least finish the lamp up here so that we've got a bulb. And that should be fairly straightforward, so no worries. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Uh, and then also uh, looks like the same old roots is uh, asking about the stream that when Aaron's going to be taking over here, um, would you be able to move it after it's done, articulate it, and um, <laughs> take some fully closed and fully opened snapshots? Aaron will be following up with that right after this. He just doesn't know it yet. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you heard it here. You, you, uh, everybody, hold Aaron to it. Don't, don't, don't let him That's use some. That's a guarantee. Yeah. None of this lame excuse like he didn't agree to it or that wasn't the plan or none of that stuff. That doesn't matter. <laughs> no excuses. Play like a champion. Um. Ah, uh, yes, Andy points out Rooster. I saw that in the trailer as well. Goose's son's name is Rooster. Rooster. 
Okay. Cockadoodle do. Yeah. Who's fan? Yeah, a little uh, MS Physics could get this thing articulating no problem. So, question: um, I I haven't used MS Physics in in a, a while. Does it still working on on recent versions? Is it work on Mac and PC? Anybody know if like it's still uh, pretty pretty viable? It was very interesting back in the day. I just I have not done anything on it. Um, Personally. Oh, Sven, actually, right after he asked, do they still have it? <laughs> so, I don't think he's been using it, but has, has anyone else uh, been using MS Physics recently? Let us know. Andy says an extension, perhaps Aaron used it for a tiny robot where you can add joints and hinges that animate. Uh, I remember that one. That, I don't, the the trouble though, correct me, I think that one was meant for singular joints, you know, because he was doing a robot articulation where you're like, well, I've got one shoulder joint, elbow joint, etc. But mm -hmm. in this case where you have multiple basically inverse kinematic like relationships um i would it work i hope so this one try really it out does, and let us know yeah <laughs> this one feels like a physics version where you can create joints that are all aware of each other um that's my guess anyway Yeah, man, MS Physics was cool. I, I, if it's uh, if it's not available out there, who do we talk to to, uh, you know, spend hours and hours and days and days so that you know for our enjoyment? Because <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> I need to drop SketchUp Geometry. I want yeah exactly. I want to watch a whole bunch around. of. Brick, bricks fall. <laughs> you know, I was watching the other day, Matt, that brought back some uh, fun memories. What's that? Um, how many of you have seen the April Fool's video we did? This was a, a, a few years back where we introduced SketchUp Adventure Mode. Adventure Any, mode. Adventure anybody mode. remember that? Uh, I remember that. Uh, you should remember that. I remember that. Matt and I created that video. I gave Matt a lot of the assets, um, and then he created a lot of the backgrounds and did all the animation for it. So, shout out to Matt for a very fun April Fools. Yeah, yeah, that was a fun project. 8-bit. You got to watch for like 20 seconds or so before it gets into the 8-bit um, version, but it's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. If I do say so myself. I don't think so. No, I do think so. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Got to check was... it out. Always a good, good one to make you feel good and fun. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, that's what we need to, uh, you know how like in Chrome, if you're offline, that little dino jumping game shows up. We need to do like a SketchUp Easter egg version of that with uh, that 8-bit game. Uh, my kids were like, is this a real thing? Well, when will it be a real thing? I, I want this to be a real thing. and. <laughs> It's like, well, we have the graphics. If you can, if you can program the game mechanics, then uh, that's all we need. Uh huh. Oh, it looks like there's a light shining out of that bulb already. Oh yeah, a little artifact. Let's give it to that. All right. Nice. 
Nice. Screw it in. <laughs> That's a little little big. But we've got we've got a tool for that. Going back to our 8-bit, I think the scale tool was the one that uh Bryce was given to level up and defeat the uh Brysosaurus or Steve. Steve was our hero. And mm -hmm. uh Brysosaurus was uh trying to stomp him. <laughs> Yeah, we won't uh, spoil the ending there, but uh, you got to watch it to to find out who wins, Brysosaurus or Steve Oles himself. Or Steve Oles. You got another save. reminder. Although I don't know if you have autosave on or not. Autosave's always on. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I, I think you can turn down the frequency of it, but um, yeah, so I should be, I should be on a like a five minute interval. Smart. Good to have the backups. I think the only time you turn that down is when you're dealing with like a 200 meg file, and then save actually is sort of like okay, it mm -hmm. takes a few seconds. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's make. We need a custom version of this one for that top piece. Nice. Oh, what other sounds do I have here? Because of the stream got uh, pivoted uh, sort of at the last minute, I had a bunch of like very key architecture sound drops, but uh, this is an architecture, so they wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> so I, um, let's see. Uh, I said maybe. Okay. Um, ah, you lose. Your blood pressure is quite low. Is it? My blood pressure is usually high. You don't seem like a high blood pressure guy. I think it's hereditary. It's one of uh, those things. Dang, well, my dad has high blood pressure. Not boding well for the future. Clear. Mm hmm. Brad asks if there's any way to unscale a previously scaled object without knowing the scale factor used. I assume it's meaning not like undo, but... Um, you will have to draw some references. I, uh, can you think, uh, like, what? give us an example and maybe we can create a, uh, something that, that might be helpful. Any, any specifics i suppose if it was a component then you could just get a new one from the components browser that would go back oh, yeah. to the original scale right if that's what you're thinking mm -hmm. i was thinking of something else but yep yeah yeah, I don't know. Brad, let us know and we can see if uh, Tyson can get a example out here for you. All right, we got uh, we got a joke here. Ove says, "How many surrealists does it take to screw in or change a light bulb?" Okay. Two, one to hold the giraffe and the other to fill the bathtub with brightly colored machine tools. <laughs> okay. All right, bring them out. Bring them out. You started it, Ove. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Where's all Jokes the... of all kinds. It doesn't have to be just about uh, light bulbs screwing in. It could be... Um, anything. Lenny, I did drop the uh, link to the YouTube video if you oops yikes and i lost the chat no 
Oh, okay. No. Chad, I'll be right back. Um, drop the link to the the video there. Transom suggested exploding for Brad's uh, unscale question. But I don't know. Exploding? Sorry, y'all. I'm I'm a little slow on this one. I'm not sure. Um, but it, so let's see. Let's oh, see. you're good. I think. Um, yeah, Brad, if you can just give us a little more context, then we can try to hone in on uh, trying to find a solution there. The piece looks nice, though, the little uh, top top part. Nice. Uh, and that one, we can do whatever we want. So I want it to be higher. Okay, here we go. Um, how many software engineers, <clears throat> pardon me, how many software engineers does it take to change a light bulb? None, it's a hardware issue. <laughs> um, how many psychiatrists does it take to change a light bulb? Only one, but the light bulb has to want to change. <laughs> Oh, you got to want it. You have to fight for yourself. Brad says, um, back to the scaling thing, been fighting with replacing a scaled OBJ. Um, for instance, it's a two by four's length with a two by six component. And then the replacement gets scaled. here but so is it you've got something like that and you're trying to replace this in the model because I think part of what I'm confused about is there's a difference between scaling with the scale tool and saying hey how do I scale and match something else something like this where you could do it and then there's the version of let me create let's just say this is the two by four and then this is the two by six and if you've got a bunch of them in your model you can um, there's a couple ways I think we can do this in the components browser we can say um, select instances of our two by four and then the two by six we could say replace selected it's supposed to be how it works <laughs> Select all instances. Um, maybe this is what you're seeing. It did seem to replace them. Oh, so it did replace them, but it replaced them at the scaled version. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Let's. Okay, everybody, little detour. Let's. Uh... make these a little different so that we have some <clears throat> clarity so if we select those mm, so okay. it replaces within the already squashed container so question is that what you're is that what you're seeing I I uh, 
uh, shout us out if somebody has a better solution because I didn't expect that. I expected it to be replaced. Yeah, he said that is what uh, what he's talking about. Um, and now that I've done it, these that is odd. Um, okay, let's double check. I'm going to ungroup both of these. Component three. Four. Maybe in the way that I created them, I, I let's see if I created them poorly, which might be why they were messing up. Let's just find out. So here's component three and component four. They should be okay. That's what we expected. So what if we go back? I'm sure what happened is I created them in, in a bad in a bad way. I I created groups first and then I made those components. I don't think that should matter, but I'm going to guess at this point and then again in the chat please chime in that it's the creation the original creation is is messing up with the scale because it should be like we're seeing here that if you're swapping pieces out they should be swapping out with the new component and somehow the way i created those previously had created them at a different scale but that's going to be my my guess let's see if yeah. anybody else has insights yeah yeah it makes sense to me um Um, Sven mentions that today is National Donut Day, and you're absolutely right about that, Sven. Um, chew on your donut while listening to the uh, award-winning, well, it's not award-winning, the great podcast, <laughs> Donuts Design and Debate, brought to you by SketchUp. Aaron and I are the co-hosts, and we have a uh, guest on to debate whether a certain design subject is good or not, and then the live audience votes to decide so um this upcoming wednesday no guest just a uh just an old time just the crew episode uh aaron and i will be uh debating about brutalism on wednesday and we have uh we will have future um uh episodes up on our crowdcast page that's the platform that we record the podcast on a link i just dropped into the chat so chomp on your donut Plug in your ear holes with some uh, design talk and enjoy. Um, we have a couple jokes here. Let's run through them. Um, yes. How many actors does it take to change a light bulb? Only one. They don't like to share the spotlight. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba. How does a dog stop a video with the pause button? How many bodybuilders does it take to screw in a light bulb? One to do it and five to stand around and say, man, you've got such awesome muscles. You're so cut. <laughs> um, how many, we just, just a couple more here, of course. How many Mac users does it take to change a light bulb? Not possible. You have to replace the whole motherboard. Zingers. What would the Terminator be called in his retirement? The exterminator. Boom. There we go. Good jokes, everybody. And uh, the, cl the floor is closed for jokes. No more jokes. Um, <laughs> sorry, the jokes are all done. We ran out of uh, rim shots. And so reach your quota. So we're done for that. <laughs> Dave says TGIF. And you're absolutely right, Dave. Um, I'm glad it's Friday as well. Uh, you have a couple notes here from, oh, here's the stitching. Yeah, I promise stitching. And there shall be stitching. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you stitching by hand. Um, it's my presenter voice. Um, have some comments on the base here as well. Okay. The base is not dome shaped. They said it's more like a um, cone. And the base is too small as well, says Matthew here. Yeah, people are afraid this is going to tip over, huh? Which is fair. A... Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that okay. I just figured it was really heavy. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that. After stitching, we, we, you can't interrupt stitching. No. Give us a moment to breathe. Get the stitch out. Of course, we could just... Uh, we're almost out of time. I'm gonna I'm gonna shortcut the rest of the stitching. We'll we'll have that one, but the rest of these are gonna be uh, just sort of visual stitching, Yoop, like that. Actually, I'm gonna stitch that. That that makes me think I should have done that from the start. Boom. Bada bing. Just kidding. Stitching. More stitching. <laughs> Where were you going, Matt? I'm just back to. Oh, stitching, nowhere. Stitching, stitching. Oh, nowhere fast. God only knows. Um, but that's uh, that's the way. This is the way. As we come towards the uh, end of the show here. You didn't uh, let us know your weekend plans. What do you got on the docket? Oh man. What's uh, what you guys? You got some relaxation in play in uh, you know, in the queue, or are you um, getting some work done around the house? What do you got? I know I'm uh, doing a mix of both. I got the yard work to do. So um, some of that mixed in with a barbecue. Nice weather, got to nice. get it on the patio, you know? Yeah, by all means. That sounds great. Um, I don't know. My my kids are going to a birthday party tomorrow over at a water park, so we'll see if that... I have been given an out to not go. It's somebody else's birthday party, so, so my <laughs> wife graciously said, you don't have to go. You don't want to ride the water slides? <laughs> they are fun on a on a Saturday in early June. They are going to be backed up. So Yeah. Even the Lazy River? Oh, th that's fair. Lazy River that maybe, you know, maybe maybe I should do that. <laughs> that that fits. Sometimes it's nice to let the uh let the kids have fun, you know? <laughs> Uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't know I, if I'll get anything um, anything else in the works or not. I... Sometimes the best plan is no plan at all. Just play it cool, play it by ear, and uh, do it big. Maybe I'll just play that song on Guitar Hero. Uh, and and master it. <laughs> Expert, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh gosh, I hope so. Need more logins in our life, you know. Can always mm. use more logins. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That looks okay. I, I like it. I don't know. We don't have a lot of detail. On, we could put the crank in. We could put some screws in. I'm not going to bother with the uh, the wires. What does that thing look like? Sven says that uh, he personally would go 
to the water park birthday party uh, in order to keep an eye on the kids. Whenever there's water involved, I'm going to keep an eye on them. That so. is totally fair. Um, especially when you have young kids. My kids are old enough that um, they don't want us hovering over their shoulders at all times. But you're not wrong. And as a parent, you're still like, I always have to watch. Yeah. I feel like that all the Can time. You go to school? Yeah. Nope, totally get that. So I was looking at this Omni Tasker, and they do all kinds of cool um, work. They have this like triangle-looking bike gear thing. They have like you know really well machined-looking. Um, I don't even know. A lot of cool stuff. Do residential design, lighting design, vehicle. Look like they have like some kind of, um, you know, gimbal arm for cars, oh, like they use in those like super high end car commercials. You know, mm -hmm. Russian arms or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, Sven asks. Uh, if you're not cool anymore to your kids, your kids don't think you're cool. Oh, thank you for thinking I ever was. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're always cool to us here on SketchUp Live, Tyson. <laughs> the cool thanks. guy. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> oh no. It, it, it plus, I mean again the difference is this is a friend's birthday party. Like if it's just if it's just you and your family then that's one thing, but right now they're like, "Oh. We're over here with the friends. Don't embarrass us." <laughs> that's my job what I was put on this earth to do. Mm-hmm. I'm going to embarrass you and you're going to like it. <laughs> well, I think we should just slap a few textures or colors on this and call this bait. Sounds great to me. scale cool we, we mostly got there yeah that's all right yeah that looks great yeah. it's beautiful plus it's huge <laughs> <laughs> really bringing the light yeah this is uh Watch out for your finger. retinas, boys. <laughs> All right, I don't have any textures, but we'll do. Well, they said if, uh, if you're going to the water park, you got to wear shorts. White socks up to halfway up your calf and sandals. Um, although I feel like these days, that's pretty much, if you're a dad, you're going to wear that anywhere. <laughs> I, I'll, i you know what, and, and I, I know there's, there's plenty of people out here who are going to sympathize with this one. I never graduated from the 90s. 
I am cargo shorts everywhere. Uh, yeah. Cargo shorts, Rip cargo jeans. shorts, cargo shorts. Rip jeans? No, cargo shorts. Just cargo shorts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Flannels. <laughs> Flannels. No, it doesn't have to be grunge, of course. <laughs> Uh, Barry's wondering when you're going to switch over to do the chair. Oh, hey everybody! Okay, we're halfway through. <laughs> so you know, uh, refresh your, refresh your coffee. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> we're always, we're always open to uh, you know whatever we're modeling here. So if we if we want to do the chair for a future time. We can do that, you know? Yeah. Put it in the books. Yeah. Get it on the schedules. Um, cool. Shadows. Nice. And here we'll do it. Which one of these is... Uh... Boom. So, oh, hold on. I need a base here. Give me the base. Drop the base. Drop that base. Why did I used to think that air horn sound was like super loud and now it's like not? I don't like it. I want it to burst me your drums. <laughs> Drop that base. Boom. Anyway, eh, we mostly got there. Hey, yeah, that looks great. A lot of, a lot of great help from everybody out there. Thank you, thank you for your insights. That was that was a fun one. Just sort of figuring it out with everybody. Um, be safe, Matt. Thanks for as always. Excellent, excellent co-hosting. Thank you. It's my pleasure you, uh, to be here and, uh, you know, just sit in on one more great model. So, uh, yeah, good job by you. It was a good show. You bring it. Boom, boom, boom. Can't stop. Can't stop. <laughs> it's always meddling. more materials to drop in. Always, always meddling. Uh, yeah, so everybody stay safe. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully next week Aaron will be... Uh, back and uh, we'll be back <laughs> according to plan and um, take care I guess we'll uh, that's all that's all that's all folks see you next time yeah